Hi everybody, I'm Emily Goldberg with Emily Cosmetics and I wanted to take a minute. I had to do my makeup a little bit now because I'm going to a friend's backyard actually and I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup but of course I want to look good. Um, I put my tinted moisturizer all over and gave myself just like a little bit of bronzer um, and I haven't done anything with my eyes at all, and you can see how they're a little discolored. So what I like to do is use my concealer stick. My color is natural beige right now. Usually all year round, I'm natural beige. And you can use your fingers or a brush. And what I like to do is just use it as a shadow base. And you'll see how quickly it really just covers up any darkness. And it's just so creamy and easy to use. Look at the difference. I mean, already I look alive. You could use it under here too, of course. And you could use your fingers if that's better for you, by all means. Oh, I forgot my selfie light. <gasps> look at that. So I'm excited to share. I have these LED selfie lights that are amazing that I'm selling for $15. And you can see what a difference it makes just clips on your phone it's really cool i'll do a video about that um okay so i use my concealer in natural beige and i just put it under my eye and on top of my eye i'm gonna show you what the clean neutral and sanitized palette is it's so natural it looks good on everybody um so first i'm gonna take the lighter color here and what I'm going to do, I love the Trish McAvoy brushes, but any flat kind of a sable brush will do. Just kind of go in there. And what you're going to do is just press it all across the lid. That's it. Don't worry if you get a little underneath. Sorry, I'm looking in a mirror as well. So you're just popping it on. I mean, that already looks better. Now, um, with a little bit of a narrow brush to do the contour right in here is the contour. We're going to take this taupe color and just go into it. And what we're going to do is just go into your contour. And if you're, if you don't have an, a big contour or if you don't know where to put it, just dust a little bit on the outside. It's just to give you a little bit of a smoky effect. And it's such a neutral matte mineral color. So there you go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, then I take this flat brush again and I go into the lighter color again. And what I like to do is see this little brow bone area? Just add a little bit in there. And then what you can do, um, just to blend it all together, I'll just take a fluffy brush. There doesn't even have to be color on it. And that's it. Now let me show you the eyeliner. Your quarantine set will come with these two shadows. And it also comes with a rich brown color I call Sienna in the gel eyeliner. And it also comes with a mascara. So I'm going to show you the gel eyeliner. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. You can go across the lash line with it. Which I'll show you very lightly. You don't even need to draw that much of a straight line. I'm just adding a little line. Okay, so I'm doing this. You can smudge it if you want. I mean, if you like a smoky look, you can smudge it. Okay, and then you can also add a little bit right in here in your waterline. I mean, it's just so fun. There's also a water line up here and you can add it in there as well. Can you guys see that? It's kind of, if it makes you grossed out, don't look. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit in my water line. Um, I don't have my eyelash curler with me, but I haven't curled my lashes and I just wanna show you 
how nice the mascara is, okay? What I do with my mascara is I lift up and get really close to the lashes. And look how pretty that is. I love it. Now, sometimes the mascara gets a little bit clumpy. That's when you know it's sort of drying out. And sometimes I'll wipe it with um, just like a makeup wipe or something if the brush gets messed up. Um, there's a lot of mascara in there. So when you're opening and closing it, it could get a little bit around the edges. And I just take a baby wipe and just clean it. Um, but that's, that's the quick look of the clean, natural, and sanitized Quarantine Eyes palette I wanted to show you. Um, there, the add-ons that I did was the concealer, which you could use as a shadow base. The other thing you could add on is my felt tip eyeliner, which I'll do a tutorial about that later, but it's basically like a Sharpie marker and I like to do it on the top to make it a little more dramatic which is fun and um the other thing I wanted to show you that you can add on are my new brow inks which I'm so excited about you can see I have a little bit of a bald spot sometimes I color it in with my brow pencil but these brow inks are amazing and this is in light uh excuse me soft taupe so it has a very narrow brush you can see and literally, I'm just brushing through it. And you can see how the color goes on and it keeps your brow hairs in place. Look how much better it looks. To the other side. And if you want a more dramatic uh, uh, eyebrow, you definitely could color it in first with my brow pencils, which I have on my Emily Cosmetics site. And I can bring them over to the new site too. But anyway, I just wanted you to see how quickly you can do this look and how quickly I can fill in my brows. And now I could wear my mask and go out. I wanted to, if I had it, I'd put it on. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the look. I hope you guys like it. It's super easy and I'll be doing these videos and showing you lots of little tricks and tips along the way. So follow me at Emily Cosmetics LLC on Instagram and Facebook and check out my website, quarantineeyes.com. Thanks guys. Have a good night.